Wait, if they're such fast runners, how come they're just laying around? Cheetahs don't run for fun. They run to hunt animals for food. So, if we want to see it run, guess we should find something cheetahs run after. Like gazelles. There's one. I think it's creeping up on its prey. But wait, I don't see any prey. It's watching and waiting for the right time to pounce. Ooh, look over there. Whoa. A gazelle. Wow, look at it go. The cheetah is fast. But so are the gazelles. I think I got the cheetah's whole run. Let's check out the footage in slow motion. The cheetah picks up speed so quickly. And it accelerates just like I did. Look at its leaping strides. Its claws help it grip the ground so that its feet don't slip around when it runs. It says here that the cheetah's claws stay out all the time. They never fully retract. It's the only cat that does that. Let's see what the speed tracker says about how fast it's going. It was running as fast as a car driving on a highway. Zoom! Now that is fast. Cheetahs are amazing runners. Plus, I like their faces. Those black marks under their eyes are cool. Those markings are called teardrops. They help keep the sun from glaring in their eyes so they can see where they're going. You know, I think I'm ready to try another run. I put black under my eyes to block out the sun's glare. I'm stretching so that I can take long strides. And my shoes have spikes like claws so that I won't slip. Ready? Time to run like a cheetah. Go! Cheetah Lily! your fastest time ever! Way to go, Lily! Thanks, Willow. Thanks a lot for helping me learn to run faster, Cheeto, old buddy. And now I'm gonna do something else that cheetahs do. What's that? Lay down. <sighs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. <laughs> Wee! I wonder how many satellites are in orbit. There are thousands. Whoa! What? Whoa! Ah! The satellite we're visiting and many others like it are machines that have been launched into orbit. They send and receive signals to and from the Earth so that we can communicate with each other. Wow! So Corby and Lily's call had to go all the way up here before the signal got sent to us? Not just their call, everybody's calls. And videos. Look, weather reports. La 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 <laughs> la And, and music. music. So without satellites, we can't call our friends, watch shows, or even know if it's gonna rain? Wow. Let's see if we can see what's wrong with this satellite. Hold on. Whoa, wow. There's the problem. Oh, the antenna is bent. It can't send and receive signals from Earth if it's damaged. Well, I guess I better go straighten things out. Wait, you mean the antenna, right? You're going to go straighten out the antenna. <sighs> That's right, Chester, the antenna. Oh, good. Just wanted to make sure. Ugh. Whoa, whoa. Yes, I made it. Great, Marco. Now go over to the bent piece. Ugh. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Phew! Okay, now straighten it, then tighten the bolt so it stays put. Ah! <sighs> it's stuck! <sighs> yeah, Marco, you did it! Way to push! Whoa! 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 Oof! Uh, I'm 
Okay, is it working? Corby, Lily, can you hear me? Hi, Polos! It works! Yeah, <laughs> all right! Way to go, Marco! We're happy to see you too, because we've got a big problem. What? We forgot to pack spoons. Last time I ate soup without a spoon, it wasn't pretty. Huh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Message received. We'll bring some. Hey, where's my drill? Okay, so here's where we are now. Nearest farm found. What? That's the nearest farm? It's really far away. The horse couldn't have come from that farm. So what's it doing out here? Horses! <laughs> Horses! That horse wasn't alone. There's a whole herd. They don't seem to have a problem finding food. There's a whole step's worth of grass for them to eat. Hey, there's a little one. A young horse like that is called a foal. Foals have a hard time eating grass, so they drink milk from their mothers instead. Horses make milk? Horses are mammals, and all mammal mothers make milk for their young. Why are they doing that? I think they're grooming each other. It's how they keep themselves clean. And keep their coats in good shape. They're on the move. Hey, they found water. You know, these horses seem to be taking care of themselves. They have plenty of food and know where to find water. They groom each other and they take care of their young. Those are the things people do for domesticated animals. But these horses are doing it for themselves. I don't think they live on a farm. I think these horses are wild. I didn't think horses could be wild. I'm looking up step horses. Hey, look, here they are. Chevalsky horses. These horses are wild. They've never been domesticated. Horsey, get me up. <gasps> oh, no, Nash! no. Horsey, get me up. Nash, stop. <sighs> Nash, why were you chasing that horse? Horsey won one. Nash. Huh? You want to ride the horse? Why does everybody understand Nash but me? Those horses are wild animals, Nash. And we never disturb animals in the wild. No giddy up. But that doesn't mean we can't run around ourselves. Yup, the stat makes a perfect place to run wild. Whether you're a horse or a polo. Nay! Nay! Hey, Nash, horsey ride? <laughs> Giddy up! <laughs> Nay! Okay, no swimming with giant otters because they might attack us. Let's take a look underwater. Yeah! Whee! This doesn't look so bad except for that stick. That's not a stick. It's a creature, a deadly one too. It's an electric eel. An eel that's electric? Seriously? How is that even possible? Electric eels have special body parts that make electricity. They need this to help them hunt prey and defend themselves. What's that? Oh no, there's another one. That's not an eel, that's a snake. A ginormous snake. How many things live down here? Well, anacondas do, right, Chester? Yep, they're the biggest snakes in the world. They can grow to be as long as a school bus. That's big. Do they bite? No. They coil their bodies around their prey and drag them into the water to eat them. Cool. But no swimming with anacondas. Absolutely yeah. not. No. 
How about here? It looks beautiful. No giant otters, no electric eels, no anaconda. <gasps> Ooh, fishy, fishy. Little fishies? Piranha with the sharp teeth that can eat whole animals super fast? Yes, but these red piranhas bark to warn other creatures to stay away from them. Woof, woof, woof. Cute otters that don't want to play? Eels with electricity? Giant anaconda snake that squeezed their prey? And barking piranha fish? The Amazon River doesn't seem like a good place to swim. Yeah, but this is where they live. Their home, not ours. The Amazon belongs to the creatures that live here. Sorry, Lily. Oh, I don't care about the rain. If only I could find some place to swim. If I could just find one place, any place to go swimming today. Well, how about this? I was working on the robo-umbrella, but then it started to rain, and it turned into a swimming pool. Yay! Thank you, Willa! Cannonball! Who wants to play Marco Polo? Woo-hoo! Yay! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Marco Polo! <laughs> Everyone else's art is so cool, but I still don't know what kind of art to do for the show. <laughs> Loud. Wow, that bird is dancing. Wait, that's it. I'll do a dance for the show. Hey, Chester, I just saw the most amazing thing a dancing bird. I'm putting in Rainforest Dancing Bird. That one! The superb bird of paradise. Whoa! So the male bird makes a dance floor by sweeping away dirt and branches. And then it calls to the females. I heard it. It was loud. And when they come, it goes into its dance. They snap their tail feathers. It sounded like snapping fingers. Wow, look at that! Now that's a rainforest dance. Welcome to the Rainforest Art Show. Hi! Foggy! Please! Now, Lily! Step to the left, bounce to the right Strut like a bird of paradise Sway like a palm tree in the breeze To the rainforest dance with me Step to the left, bounce right, hooray! How we strut when the music plays Sway like a palm tree in the breeze To the rainforest dance with me What 
was that? It was huge. Let's find out. Whoa! <laughs> You know, I think that giant snowball is a comet. Comets are just big balls of ice and dust and rock until they get near the sun. Look! It's changing! Is it melting? It looks like the heat of the sun is setting it on fire. Because the sun's energy heats the comet's ice and gases, it's growing a long tail. Comet's dead! Willow, what do I do? Ah! You got this, Lily. Remember the button I told you not to touch? Well, punch it! Punching 